I'm Logan Crawford, and right now on Spotlight, we're delving into the transformative power of redemptive love in the Black family with Christine Einer. Her book is called All Families Matter, The Black Redemptive. It explores how Jesus Christ brings unity, deliverance, and restoration to families. This inspiring book reveals the power of faith in overcoming division and finding true peace and safety. We're delighted to have this very talented author join us here today on Spotlight. We thank the team at Sweet Spire Literature Management for helping us put her in the spotlight today. And we ask viewers like you to support authors like her by subscribing to our channel and by purchasing her remarkable book. The links are below this interview. Christine, great to see you here today on Spotlight. Well, thank you. I'm honored to be here. All right. The honor so is all mine. Your book is very, very powerful. I think it's going to open up some hearts and some minds and help people see things a bit differently. What inspired you to write about the redemptive love of God in the context of the Black family? Well, um, actually, um, I was inspired by, I would say, um, God, by mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit. This book was given to me in a dream. Mm -hmm. And um, in that dream, um, I was... Um, you know, just inspired to be um, obedient to God to write such a book. And so the motivation for uh, writing this book came from a profound desire uh, to uh, uh, see lives transformed. Yeah, absolutely. How does your book address the challenges and divisions that face families today? Well, it addressed it by promoting um, unity instead of division. Yes. Yeah. And so in, in, in writing this book, um, the Lord gave me a, um, a command, actually, mm -hmm. to uh, go forth. And the way I know that is that in this dream, um, there was a book that had a couple on the book and I heard him say, write this book in my spirit. Mm. So yeah. uh, then he gave me a great desire uh, while I was in my sleep, a very lucid uh, dream. And um, during that time, I uh, felt the need to, um, help the people that God was asking me to help mm. to bring in love and hope to his people. Absolutely. So I Absolutely. was motivated, very motivated by that um, because of my love for the, for the Lord. And so uh, through that experience, I, I, you know, I thought about the, the things that I'd gone through in life and, um, uh, and how God had restored my life uh, uh, through the love of God the love of Jesus Christ. And so this book uh, aims to highlight uh, many stories of people who I'd, I'd observed for many years uh, and counseled with for many years, and also my own life. I had a chance to um, not just uh, see the book and the title of the book, mm -hmm. but God took me down a lane that I could um, look at and see how he had helped me. Mm -hmm. uh, through many years uh, of, to bring me out of um, the demise of division and help me to understand how to walk in the unity and the love of God uh, by showing me the things that he had helped me with. And so in that he inspired me to go forth and um, help others to embrace the peace and safety that's found only in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. Could you tell us a story that illustrates the transformative power of Christ? Well, a story would be uh, some of the people that, that, that I wrote about. Yep. Whereby they were uh, on the verge of um, giving up in life. And actually, some of them had one, 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 one couple had given up in life. Mm. And many things had happened. Uh, through society, uh, the marginalization of 
of uh, African Americans or black people in their lives had caused great strife in their homes. Mm -hmm. And I do remember uh, after Consulate for years, they began to understand that they had the power through Jesus Christ to be restored and not just sit and feel like life was over with, but to take responsibility of what that God has given them. And that was the freedom to live in Christ Jesus in victory as overcomers. Yeah. Can you give us an overview of your book? Well, my book, um, uh, you know, it's, it's a book that's uh, going to help people mm -hmm. understand uh, life from more than a, a natural standpoint. Mm -hmm. It is a book that will show people that uh, they're not victims, but they're victorious. And so the book stands out uh, in a unique way to help us to focus on the intersection of faith, family, and community within the Black family. It combines personal uh, narratives, biblical principles, and practical advice uh, to create a compelling and inspirational uh, uh, read. And it's, it's holistic mm. in its approach uh, that ensures the reader to receive a, a practical uh, and spiritual nourishment and practical guidance also for their own lives. Could you share with us some of those practical steps that you recommend for families seeking deliverance and restoration through their faith? Well, I simply would think that, you know, you know, because a lot of blacks have gone through a lot of marginalization in society, the practical states uh, uh, that they have need to have their mind in is to know that uh, God has not forgotten them mm -hmm. and that they must take responsibility to use what God has given them. That actually, uh, whatever happened to them was a was not uh, you know unknown to God. He knew what was happening all the time, but that and it's not something that you should be angry about. So one of the practical things that I I expound a lot on in the book is you know forgiveness and um, you know the uh, repentance of anger. And began to see themselves as the overcomers that God has called them to be. Mm -hmm. And the fact that uh, the family is the first institution that God created. And that in that he's going to uphold it because he created it. But that we must walk according to his will and his way. And we do that by living according to biblical standards as well as, you know, uh, standards that we do have to adhere to while, because we're still in this world. Exactly. Thy will be done, for sure. How do you envision your book impacting the lives of readers and families? Mm. Well, I, I would say that uh, I hope, my hope is that um, that they would uh, embrace the overcomer's walk of life. They would embrace liberty, that they would embrace freedom, and uh, that, that they can find only in Jesus Christ and that they cannot uh, em embrace or even have victory if they're going to continue to be focused in the wrong direction. And so uh, they must refuse to be victims and stand firm in their faith, knowing that God's uh, uh, redemptive love can bring unity and restoration to their family and to their life in every way. Wonderful. Wonderful. Can you tell us a little bit about your spiritual journey? Are you um, connected to a church where you live? Are you active in it? Or is it more of a personal type of worship? Well, I am a pastor, mm -hmm. a senior pastor of Evangelical Missions Bible Fellowship Church. Mm -hmm. uh, my husband was the bishop, uh, my late husband, who passed May 21st of, of 2023. And after that, he'd already ordained me so that I am the um, I am the senior pastor of the church at this point in time. And, uh, you know, we focus on 
none other but Jesus, Jesus Christ and him crucified. Yeah. And um, we're very active in the community Wonderful. as well. Well, your congregation and the community are blessed to have you doing God's work, no doubt. The name of this book is All Families Matter, The Black Redemptive. It explores yes. how Jesus Christ brings unity, deliverance, and restorations to family. It is an inspiring book that reveals the power of faith in overcoming division and finding true peace and safety. Christine, thanks so much for joining us here today on Spotlight. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. I appreciate your time. And to the folks at home, I'm Logan Crawford, thanking you for your time this time. Until next time on Spotlight. <laughs>